Good evening, my name's Alex Campbell and you're watching the fifth episode of Dissecting Thrones. Eastwatch was the worst episode of Game of Thrones ever! What the fuck? Did they swim all that way underwater? Jamie's in full plate armor. They were right there! Daenerys should have captured them! <laughs> yep, I get it. I get what they're doing here. Very subtle. Clever. Clever. Good job, guys. Miyokeo <laughs> Anisikoshi. Use this magic cream and your dragon scale will completely disappear so the rest of your story arc can continue in good retail stores now. Ravens. We need to send ravens. You just killed them all, my lord. Somehow, a crippled boy survived for years beyond the wall when no one else could. Not the Night's Watch, not the Wildlands, no one. Perhaps we ought to let- STOP SHOWING SAM! Cersei thinks the army of the dead is nothing but a story, made up by wet nurses to frighten children. What if we prove her wrong? Surely she wouldn't believe you when she'd just capture you? Oh, you won't be swinging it at me. Did Tyrion send a raven to tell Bronn to take Jaime down into the dungeons? What if the raven was intercepted and this information was leaked? Bronn doesn't live in King's Landing, what is he doing there? Christian Bale? Anybody give you any trouble? Well, here I am, arming Lannisters and I never get a second look. But you were right. The safest place for me was right under the Queen's nose. What? That makes no sense! The gold cloaks were in King's Landing, murdering your brothers and sisters and looking for you so they could kill you. No, the safest place for me was right under the Queen's nose. The safest place for me was right under the Queen's nose. Where is the bastard? If his place for me was right under the Queen's nose. A safer place to hide would have been a place where the people trying to murder you don't live and work, right? I've been getting ready. I never knew what for, but I've always known I'd know it when it comes. Gendry was a good blacksmith, right? People knew him and he grew up there. That was his trade and his profession. He would have had friends and work colleagues in King's Landing. He can't just expect to return with a completely different identity. People know him. Are you going to punish him? Tyrion. Bronn. He betrayed you. He set up a meeting without your knowledge or consent. Do you think anything of importance happens in this city without me knowing? You let it happen. This is completely indifferent from the character that they've set up. Cersei hates Tyrion with a passion. In her mind, he murdered her father and mother. She went to great lengths to get him killed. And all of that aside, from a purely military standpoint, he's Daenerys' hand. Capture him! He has vital information that you might need to win this war. It's just, it doesn't, doesn't make any fucking sense, eh? This is cool. Gendry, Your Grace. I'm Robert Baratheon's son. Bastard son. One, how did Davos know that Gendry was in King's Landing? I mean, it doesn't make any sense for him to be there. That, that's a really stupid thing for him to do. Two, for what reason did Davos pick up Gendry? Oh, 
Fan service. Purely for fan service. Picking up Gentry had no logical reasons. Alright. I get that this show is coming to a conclusion and that the narrative is speeding up now. I mean, Tolkien spent a lot more time writing about the Shire than about Mordor. And that's fine. But the fast travelling in this episode is ridiculous. Davos travels from Dragonstone to King's Landing and back. And then Jon and the rest of the A-Team travel from Dragonstone to Eastwatch. Look how far away that is! The second episode was called The King's Road, I'm pretty sure, because, you know, it had Ned and Robert travelling from Winterfell to King's Landing. Because they couldn't just fast travel. Maynard says here that he issued an annulment for Prince Ragger and remarried him to someone else at the same time in a secret ceremony in Dawn. Is that a common thing in the South? Of These maesters. Is that the confirmation that Rhaegar is Jon's father? Just a throwaway casual line? Martin spent 20 years writing these books and that fact carries a lot of weight and consequences for the storyline. And, and Gilly just says it, just off cuff, like casually? Eh, hey, Rhaegar and Lyanna, John's their son. Yeah. What? 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 What the fuck? Sam, where's your cloak of invisibility? She's standing right there. I mean, she'd be in Littlefinger's peripheral vision. He could just turn around and see her. What happened to her magic shape changing ability? Yeah, all these characters we know and love are seemingly thrown together with no time or effort into the geography of the world or how long travel takes or motivations or logic. Now they're going to go on a mission. A really awesome mission. And they're going to do something really cool, which is completely illogical. Hey, let's go catch a white walker. To prove to Cersei that there are White Walkers which will work because, you know, she's a very logical and clear-minded person who isn't vindictive. Dave Hill wrote this episode. This is only his third ever writing credit. And, you know, that really makes sense. Thank you for watching. And if you didn't completely disagree with my completely cynical approach to this television show, and my completely needless anger for this one hour of happy, fun entertainment. And please like, subscribe, and comment! If not, you can get FUCKED! Nah, I'm just joking.